Hey everyone, it's Chelsea from Painted Layer Studio. Welcome back to my sewing studio. In this video, we're going to learn how to make one of these bunny ear type scrunchies. Today, I am just using a scrap piece of fabric that I found at the thrift store. I thought this was really pretty. So the first thing we're going to do is cut out our pattern on our fabric using the template that you can find on my website, paintedlayerstudio.com. Just look under free patterns and you can find this. And we're going to cut two of these pieces on the fold and then we're going to cut a rectangle piece for the scrunchie. So you're also going to need some elastic. You can use a 1 8 inch elastic shown here in black or you can use a cord elastic shown here in white. So the dimensions for your rectangle piece is going to be 4 inches by 18 inches and then you're going to need about 9 inches of elastic. Start by ironing out your fabric, removing any wrinkles that might be there. Then use your rotary cutter, ruler, and mat to cut your rectangle 4 inches by 18 inches. Then fold your fabric in half and put the template piece on top and then cut on the fold. And then take that piece and put it on top and cut a second one on the fold. So now I have my pieces cut out. I've got one long rectangular piece and then I have these two bunny ear pieces. So what you wanna do is take these two pieces and put them right sides together and then go ahead and sew along the edge and leave a little gap to turn your work. I recommend leaving the gap in the middle so that it'll be hidden when you tie it on the scrunchie. And then with this piece, you want to fold it in half with the right sides together. And then go ahead and use a straight stitch to just stitch a straight line across here. Go ahead and cut off any excess fabric along your stitches. and turn this piece right side out. Here I'm just using a knitting needle to help me. And then you wanna take your scrunchie piece and open that fold there and just iron that flat. And then you wanna flatten the bunny ears as well. So in order to make the loop for the scrunchie, we're gonna do some folding and this will allow you to keep sewing so that it's a continuous loop and then that loop is going to be in the middle and we're going to fold that down so that the edges are touching and you're just going to sew along that edge. And when you get to the end you want to stick your fingers in there and kind of keep pulling the loop out and then continue to sew and try to do this all the way around till you get to the beginning. And you also want to leave about a one inch gap so you can turn this as well. And when you're finished, your loop should look like this. Go ahead and pull it right side out. Okay, so I have my bunny ear piece and then I have this tube piece for the scrunchie. So you want to cut a piece of elastic about nine inches long and then grab your safety pin. Go ahead and put that on the end of the elastic. And then I'm just gonna take this and kind of thread it through that hole. I like to take a clip and clip the other end to the scrunchie at the start of the hole just so that I don't lose the elastic inside the tube here. 
and then you just want to tie a knot on the end. So then go ahead and cut off the excess. And now the scrunchie looks like this. And to close the gaps, you can just sew over or you can do a ladder stitch. What I like to do is use a liquid stitch. I think this is the easiest method. You can find this at most fabric stores. Add some glue along the edges of the opening there and then just close it shut. And I like to put some books on top and just leave it there until it dries. So after we closed up that gap, where the gap was is where you want to tie this part on so it'll kind of hide that. Um, just in case you didn't make it perfect, it'll kind of hide any mistakes that you made. So you just take that and do a nice little tie here. And then you have an adorable bunny ear scrunchie. I love the dimensions here. I think it turned out really good. So go ahead and grab this pattern and you can make one for yourself. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more sewing tutorials, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and happy sewing.